We're going to go ahead and take what we did in the previous video, which was to set up an ad account on our business manager site on the Facebook page. And now we're going to go ahead and go to Ad Espresso and we're going to integrate this ad account into our Ad Espresso account so that we can use it and set up a tracking pixel so that we can install on our website. So once again, let's, let's make sure one of, the, and most, one of the things I see happen all the time that especially like if you're a digital marketer and you're managing multiple accounts, you'll forget to come in here and actually add yourself to the account. So you can be, you can send out the request, you know, get the claim, you know, all that, you know, doing this up here. So let's say you do a request access to an ad account and you can do it one of two ways. You can send your uh, confirmation number here that they can put in, or you can add the one that they send you. So it'll be a number that looks a lot like this that you put in here, then hit confirm. But what you have to do is then come in here and you have to actually add people to that account. So for example, if we hadn't in the previous step added you to this account, you would not be able to access it. If you don't add in, say, your ad account advertiser, if you have a digital market agency, they're not going to be able to access it on Ad Espresso. So we've got this added here, which is solid. We go back to our Ad Espresso uh, account, which let's go ahead and make sure we'll start off with the exact account that we have. So this is like our top level navigation up here on secondary accounts, primarily used if you have multiple business accounts or if you have you know managing clients primarily. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go into settings, Facebook ad accounts, and we'll add new Facebook ad account. Okay. And what this does is it's going to go ahead and bring up uh, the new account that we have. These lightning bolts here simply mean that you've already uh, brought these campaigns in, so there's nothing that you can do. You can import the campaigns if you'd like here by clicking yes. Um, which, why not? And what we want to do is we want to select this and I would keep it named the same thing. The only time that you would need to change the name on this, on this end, is if the uh, person who set up the account didn't name the, uh, the, the ad account like we just did. They just maybe used the ad account ID number. And that way you can distinguish it because otherwise it's going to look like something like this. We'll read out here. and. For our purposes, we want to know quickly what it is that we're looking to get to use on the ad account side so we know when we go to our top level selected. So anyhow, go ahead. Uh, now we've got this selected, importing the active campaigns. We'll go ahead and click on add ad account. Um, it's going to take uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for, for it to, uh, to sync and produce. Um, Okay, so was it's got this importing, which you know it, it could be doing now. I don't think you're. I mean, obviously, there's nothing on it. It's a brand new campaign, so we have nothing really to see. Uh, but we need to go ahead and create our pixel, and that's really the second objective of this video. Is let's go ahead and get this created. Um, what you want to do? This is what we call like your base pixel. Uh, your base pixel is going to want to be installed in the header file for all of your web pages. That way, it's going to be able to document on, at a base level, um, you know, people viewing the pages. Um, and this can be helpful for us, especially when we start creating our lead gen campaigns or, um, you know, say we're doing an e-com, you know, B2C campaign and we're getting people to buy our apparel, whatever, we'll, we'll add in snippets of code to certain pages in our sales funnel, in our landing page funnel, that'll trigger when someone comes to that page. So, for example, running a lead gen campaign, we're going to have a snippet of code that we're going to insert with a value of what we believe this, this lead is worth to our business. And whenever someone uh, lands on the, the, the final URL or the landing page, the squeeze page, they'll enter their information and when they do, they'll be taken to the next page in the sequence, which is usually like a thank you page, download page, access something page. And at that point, the tracking code will be placed on them so that we can then use this to uh, uh, understand our, our you know, KPIs, our, our, our key performance indicators such as CPA, which is going to be cost of acquisition on the lead side, which is going to help us understand which campaigns are profitable and which are not, um, as well as allowing us to segment uh, these people uh, for retargeting. And for example, let's say you're running a uh, e-com website with 50,000 you know, uh, different products, different widgets. 
<clears throat> in this, uh, you know, you're going to want to have, people are going to go to certain widgets on that site. They're going to go through a certain path to look at a certain product. And when you build retargeting campaigns, you want to be able to segment to the people that went to URLs that contains, um, you know, like say, you know, women's apparel is your, your category or something like that, or even down to the specific product. You're able then to start up campaigns retargeting to, to which is going to drive your conversions. Um, so for here now, setting up the, the pixel is pretty easy. Uh, you just click the button. <laughs> And uh, it's going to generate the pixel name. Make sure this is the, the pixel name that you're cool with. Um, and, and I'm cool with that because it's naming after the, the company or the business name that we're running this campaign with, which is associated with our Espresso account, which is associated with our Facebook account. Um, so if you're cool with this name, yep. then we just click Next. And then it's about that easy. And... <clears throat> Obviously, once it populates, you're going to take this, install it in your header file, um, or you know, you know, if you're using ClickFunnels, you, you know, I'd install it there, um, which is another video. Um, you can also integrate with uh, you know, your tag manager stuff like that. So for our purposes, we're just going to keep it simple right now, and just get the base pixel, which you just click, and it's going to copy it and. Um, do you have like a uh, like a text file that we can open and save this to? For your uh, let's see, oh, like on my computer right now. I mean, it, it, it's just easy. It's like if you open like a text file or a Word doc or whatever you have, um, and just save that pixel code. That way, you can take and open it and come back and copy and paste exactly. Okay. Uh, should I create one really quick? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, for no guide. And then copy that and paste it. Right? Okay. So, uh, yep, I got it now. Okay, just go ahead and save that file um, as, um, you know, make it read, uh, buy, sell, fix, parts, yep. pixel. Facebook, uh, the Facebook pixel? I was, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> All right, you can close it out. All right, um, you can do things like use advanced matching, and that's really what we're going to get into later on when we start building our campaigns, because uh, the cool thing about using Ad Espresso is it's going to kick out the pixel once we publish the campaign that we're going to want to install uh, to the page that we're looking to, to track the conversion of it on. So we'll get into that, but you know, you can get into um, advanced matching here. Um, I really wouldn't right now. Um, I would just keep it, you know, as is, and just go ahead and click on next. Because, like I said, you know, this is just our base pixel. Um, uh, Vent codes. I think that's really something kind of getting into a little bit more of uh, advanced stuff. Um, this, this right here, certainly, this is the, this is actually the exact code that we'd be using. So I mean, and you um, just add that to the page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're gonna add the script within the context of the pixel you'll, you'll see like and i'll show you let me show you you would come in here in the code and uh, right let me without touching it i would add it right up above the the last script close line right here well actually i would add it um that's actually a script yeah so i would add it inside right after that script code in the no script tag right here so you're just you would just be adding this in simply i mean once again, I wouldn't I wouldn't get into these just yet. Um, I, I mean, unless you've already got the structure planned out, um, you know how you're going to run your campaigns ahead of time. Most people don't. Usually, you're going to get into building the campaigns first, letting the audience and the data kind of lead you on what works and what doesn't, and then you're going to really focus on the pain points for those demographics and, and, and expand out from what works and what doesn't. But without knowing what works and what doesn't, I mean, unless, like I said, you've got this mapped out, you already know what you're going to do, I, I think it's a little bit easier to kind of just go ahead and get this this already set up and ready to go so it's synced up with your Espresso account. 
and then just come back to it and, and add in what you're going to need. And for most people, you're not going to really have a lot of code, like, you know, unless you're doing like, like I said, like econ, which is going to get into, you know, having to add, you know, certain things. Now, certainly for what we're doing here with, with the, the product we're selling, the courses, we're going to have add to cart functionality or, or scripts that we're going to include, um, as well as others, um, you know, initiate checkout, you know, add payment info, purchase, all those things are going to be added into the different landing pages in our sales funnel. So you can either take the time to do it now, or like I said, I would rather just go ahead and do it once we spit out the campaigns. That way we can just go in and grab it real quick. And well, just let's show say you I want to create the tracking pixel for lead. I'm going to copy that script into the pixel, and then I'm going to take that code and copy it into the header file of that area, right? For that page. You're gonna put. You're gonna add this code right here, this script, and then you've got to change the value, uh, which you see in blue right here. You you would make it the value that the lead is worth to you in your business, and that's based off of obviously you know being able to get tracking. I mean, you can starting out, you can get an idea based on the industry. You know that you're gonna probably pay two times more than everybody else to start out with, and then uh, or it's worth two times less than what you think would be a good rule of thumb, and then kind of work it from there, but. You know, for you, for example, you've already got sales. We already know what your conversion values are. So, you know, hey, my value is like eight fifty a lead or something like that. And you're paying to $2 a lead, right? Um, so, you, you know, you, you can adjust accordingly. And that's what's going to help you tune in your campaigns on the Ad Espresso side to know which is working and which is not. So, uh, once again, let's go ahead and just finish out the basic setup of this, um, which at this point in time, we can go ahead and check the... Yeah, and, and you can use a tool, um, Facebook uh, Pixel Helper. I don't know if you have that uh, loaded here. We can add that real quick if you like. And that'll help you know if you've got your um, tracking. You'll know, this will tell you whether or not your tracking pixel is installed properly. Um, so let's go to this, we'll go to this right here. Just add it to Chrome. So it should be already on here. Um, where? Okay, this might be asking if we want to. I, I don't want to do anything with that. This is your computer that I'm, that I'm doing all this on. So. I believe I have Facebook Pixel or, uh, Helper already installed on Chrome. Okay. So, um, and if I, I, this is a brand new computer I'm using. So. Uh, if I don't, I'll just set it up anyways, but I do know about Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, yeah, and you and it's just, it just gives you a little icon you can click on that'll show yeah. you that it's tracking properly. And we'll use this really more for when we get into, um, you know, um, th this will be used more for when we get into, um, I lost my train of thought here. Uh, when we get into testing our, our thank you pages, you know, for leads, testing you know, our car pages or payment pages, stuff like that. Okay. Um, now this has, a, it's gonna take, you know, it, it can take a few minutes, um, you know, obviously it's gonna tell you that here. Uh, it, it can take you know, 20, 30 minutes, an hour for it to sync, um, but what we're gonna do next, is we're gonna stop this part of the tutorial of actually taking and um, setting up the tracking pixel, integrating um, that with, or adding, integrating our ad account with our ad espresso account so that now our next step is to go in and start a, uh, a, a campaign. So that'll do it for this course.